Imagine building an illegal sail for a sailboat in two weeks with no boat. That's oh, yeah. what we did this summer. It's time for us to show you how we will design our jib sail. Allow me to introduce you to the Sunfish sailboat. This is the kind of sailboat at our scout camp. Unlike many other sailboats, the Sunfish lacks a secondary sail which goes in front of the mainsail and is called the jib sail. So we decided it was time for an upgrade. Before we talk about the sail design, let me show you our rough plan for assembling the sail which will guide our design constraints. Firstly, the sailboat starts in the water and one of us needs to swim the boat away from the dock. While that's happening, one of us needs to be on the boat assembling the jib sail. Now let's talk about the design constraints. Our design cannot require permanent modifications to the boats. These are not our boats. It must be possible to rig or derig quickly and must be waterproof and swimmable as we will be swimming our equipment out to the boat. Time to design the sail. This is approximately what a jib sail would look like, but that's pretty small. So let's size it up a bit. That's better. However, now the sail is extending beyond the front of the boat. So we'll need to extend the boat, like so. This device is called a bowsprit. You know, one of those things. In order to hold the front of the sail, we will run a rope through the front edge of the sail. This is called the forestay. The next question is, how will we raise the sail? Sailboats have lines called halyards, which are used to raise sails. But since the sunfish is not supposed to have a jib sail, there's no jib halyard. However, the mainsail does have a halyard, so we had the genius idea of using the mainsail halyard to raise both sails at once. Now, there aren't many details on sunfish dimensions online, so we'll have to do a bit of guesswork in order to determine our sail dimensions. Fortunately, math makes guesswork pretty easy. Using some visual analysis and the knowledge that the whole boat is about 13 feet and 9 inches in length, we're able to determine the following dimensions, giving us a good idea of the sizes to make our parts in. Now I'll hand it to Benjamin. I'm going to talk about our fabrication plan. For our bowsprit, we will be using a PVC pipe with two 3D printed clamps, one attached to the mast and one at the tip of the bowsprit for holding the front corner of the jib. On this slide, you can see the green line representing the force stay. Additionally, you can see an orange line, which represents a rope that provides a second point of attachment for the bowsprit. To attach the sail to the top spar of the mainsail, we will be using a knot called the icicle hitch, which wraps around poles and doesn't slide, even if they are very smooth. Finally, we will have two lines which are called jib sheets. These will be used to adjust the sail's position while we are underway. Now that we've completed our design, let's get to building. Remember, we only have two weeks.
Yeah, we have some work to do. Throughout the testing process, we encountered several challenges, and we had to repeat the process of designing, building, and testing. One of the problems we faced was the size of our sale. We ended up making a change to our original plan on how to raise the sale, causing our original sale measurements to be oversized. Being oversized doesn't allow the sale to fully extend and is inefficient. To solve this problem, we cropped the sale, allowing us to take the most advantage from the wind's force. The problems we encountered included, but were not limited to, the jib sail being improperly sized, difficulty adjusting the jib sail trim, the jib sail not being firmly attached to the forestay, the tendency of the jib to get caught on the mainsail while changing tacks, and excessive tension being applied to the top spar of the mainsail. All of which we had to overcome with various creative solutions. There's more information on each of these difficulties and more in the guide document in the description. The two primary purposes of a jib sail are to increase sail power, and therefore boat speed, and to utilize the slotting effect to improve the boat's ability to sail close to the wind. We were not able to apply any rigorous measurements to these two objectives, but we suspect the impact would have been significantly more notable given some changes. Here are some potential improvements that can be implemented in the future. Using a more appropriate sail material than a bed sheet, such as Tyvek or Dacron, or making the bowsprit longer and increasing the sail area. On that note, we invite you to expand on our project. We have a detailed guide along with files in the links below so that you can use our work as a starting point for improvement. Please comment with any questions. Now let's have some fun. Oh, all right, all right.